Welcome to the windiest place currently on Earth. Now then, driver aids, I hate them because they give you a license to be absent-minded when you're behind the wheel. Cruise control, lane assist, night vision, multi-cameras, we don't need them. So welcome to my idea of hell, the new BMW 5 Series. The car that provides BMW with more than half its profits has always been the most entertaining to drive in its class. But now this sixth version is all about techno, techno, techno. It's now possible to buy a 5 Series with party tricks that include parking itself and spotting pedestrians at night. You can also have four-wheel steer and an Octamarus automatic gearbox. It's got eight gears. Enough wind now, thanks. The reason for the blustery conditions is because I'm in the Pyrenees, where the team is forcing me to test the technology on this 535i to find the benefits. And we'll start with the surround view and reversing assist system. Five cameras that will apparently result in perfect parking. OK, I've got a camera in each front wheel arch pointing sideways and they feed back to this screen here and it helps me to see when I'm nosing out of junctions. But it's when you go into reverse that these cameras become seriously clever. No, no. As well as a typical rear view with target lines that help you aim into a space, you can add in the wing mirror cameras to create a unique view. Now what is fantastic and fun is that it's like having a miniature helicopter right on top of you, giving you a proper bird's eye view. And I am lining up absolutely brilliantly within the parking lines. Hmm, it's good, it's very clever. The next piece of technology I want to test doesn't even need the car to move. It's called Connected Drive and is like a concierge service. Supposedly, even though we're in France, BMW's directory and quarries operators will download any address straight to the sat-nav. It's ringing. Good morning, BMW Station Plus. Sam speaking. How can I help? Oh, morning, Sam. Hi there. My name is Tiffany Dell. You can call me Tiff. I was wondering if it's possible for you to send me, well, patch me through the details of the nearest Audi dealership. Yeah, I can have a look for you. Bear with me a second. Thank you, Sam. Sam, are you still there? Oh, yeah, no, I'm still here. Sorry, oh. it, it is thinking about it. No, it doesn't seem to find any. Maybe even if I go into Spain, hang on. Maybe. Yes, Spain would do. No, it's not bringing me up anything at all. Can I try a Mercedes-Benz dealer? Oh, <laughs> let's have a look. No, it doesn't look like either. I'll tell you what, Sam, just to wrap it up, how about a BMW dealership? Mm. Oh, that should be in here. Let's hope so, eh? Ah, uh, here we go. Splendid. Can you pop that through to <laughs> me on, on my sat-nav? <laughs> I will do. That's on its way down to you now. Thank you so much, Sam. Thanks You're a lot. Welcome. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. So, quite a selective service BMW offers there. Please turn sharp left in 100 metres. The final test is of the optional four-wheel steering. Look how the rear wheel subtly turns right, then left, to help corner like a car with a much shorter wheelbase. Turn into the bend, power out. The car shrinks around you and becomes more like a pert 3 Series than a big 5 Series. This is the 535, but it's actually got a 3-litre turbocharged engine, which gives just over 300 brake horsepower. It'll hit 62 miles an hour in six seconds. <laughs> And it is fantastic. That power delivery punches you out of each corner. And the silky, silky smooth gear changes are phenomenal. And I like a manual gearbox, but this eight-speed auto is superb. BMW says this is the only car you'll ever need. And I agree. But it's not because of all the wizardry. It's because underneath this metal is a fabulous rear drive chassis. And that's what makes it fundamentally brilliant, not the frothy toppings. And with prices that started at £28,000, BMW has just made the best mid-exec money can buy.